this class I am going to teach about how to write the very low HDL code for parallel in parallel out shift register. So before I write the program, first I recall the term shift register. So what is shift register? Shift register in the sense just to shifting the data from left direction to right direction or right direction to left direction. So it's basic operation of shift register. So first I will draw the block diagram for parallel in parallel of shift register. So here I am taking 4 bit shift register. So I need 4 flip flops. So I need 4 flip flops. Here applying common clock pulse. So common clock pulse for all four flip flops. So this signal is clock. Then, so we'll say input D4, sorry D3, D2, D1, D0. So it's output Q0. Q1, Q2, Q3. So it's a data D3, D2, D1, D0. So it's a simple block diagram for parallel and parallel out. So in this block diagram, we have a three signals who input data on clock and output. So one more signal is clear. So totally in this block diagram we have four signals. So clock is a triggering signal. So trigger the flip flop on clear just to reset all the values. Then D is a data, Q is the output values. So now I am going to draw the timing diagram. So timing diagram for parallel in parallel of shift register. So it's a clock signal. So it's a clock signal. We have four outputs Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. So Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. So based on the clock signal, the data is processed and it releases the output signals. So whenever the clock signal is hitting in the flip flop, it produces the output. For example, Q0 value is 1. So after reaching the clock signal, Q0 value is 1. And Q1 value 0. And Q2 value 0. Q3 value 1. So here our input is D value equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. So it's a D value. So whenever the clock signal is hit in the flip flop, the corresponding time, the output will be released. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. So Q0 value 1, Q1 0, Q2 0 and Q3 value 1. So this is the basic operation of parallel in parallel of shift register. Now I am going to write the Vela HDL program for this one. So as usual first you write module, then module name PIPO. So PIPO represent parallel in parallel out. So it's a module name. Then within a bracket, you mention what are the variables used in the block diagram. So that variable just you write it here. So first one clock, then clear, D, then Q. So these four variables used in the block diagram. So after initializing these four variables, now declare the input variables and output variables. So among these four signals, this 3 consider as an input, this Q consider as output. So input, clock and clear, then input. So here D is a 4 bit signal, so it represents n vector 3 down to 0. So 3 down to 0 D. Then output 3 down to 0 Q. 
So after declaring this variable, assigning the input variable clock, clear and D. So these three variables consider as a input signal and Q is the output signal. The next one always at positive. So here after getting the positive H trigger, that time only the input is processed and it will is the output. So always at positive if clear signal equal to 1. So if clear signal equal to 1, Q value is 40 B 0 0 0. So double 0 double 0. So clear signal value equal to 1. So all the flip flop value reset to 0 0 0 0. Then else. So else Q value equal to B. Suppose clear signal it goes to 0. So whenever the positive H trigger clock pulse is hitting in the D flip flop, the input value is applied to output. So input value is applied to D3 flip flop and it process and finally it produces the output value Q3. So here Q value equal to D. Then N module. So it's a simple very law HDF code for parallel in parallel out. So first you draw the block diagram then assigning the input values, uh, input variables and output variables then controlling signals. So using this block diagram you can write the program very easy manner. So first you declare the input variables then assign input variable and output variable then if clear value equal to 1 in this case Q value equal to 40 B 0 0 0 0. Yes, Q value equal to B. Finally, end of the statement, end module. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.